everybody, um, to welcome TED audience. Um, I'd like to start out with a quote that I came up with a couple years ago when um, I kind of started in this parkour ninja training process. Um, so what I said to myself was, do what you can physically, not what you can't mentally. And to me that was huge because a lot of the time when you're doing parkour or different things like that, a trick or whatever, you could probably do physically, but you can't mentally. And so if you aren't there mentally, you shouldn't risk it physically. And so that always was just like a philosophy of mine. Um, so obviously my project was about um, parkour and ninja training. And so ninja training being American Ninja Warrior. And so a couple quotes along with parkour from Fitness Benefits of Parkour Free Running. Um, it's an article. It said... Um, when talking about parkour, it said, it is, learning, it is about learning to traverse obstacles and about getting from place to place in the most economical manner possible. The physio or the, is five, five. the philosophy consists of jumps, flying leaps, and other physically demanding moves. And so that quote really just represents parkour as a whole and how it's just like you're trying to get from place to place as creatively as possible. Um, so... Parkour to me is about getting through the obstacles. And so parkour relates to life. Life is about all this stuff that we go through, right? But there's so many obstacles and things that can get in our way. And parkour, I relate it so much because it's very similar. It's like if I'm sitting here and there's a block and I've got to get over this block in the most creative way and I'm going to Kong and then do some random trick, it's creative. It's the way I get through that obstacle. And that's how, that, that relates to life. I mean, however you're going to get through that obstacle will allow you to progress through life. And so my whole goal for this project was to make a positive in, um, influence in my life by doing parkour and increasing my abilities and stuff. And so my main things I was doing is I was trying to figure out how to get my Arabian, which is basically like a twist and then like, it's confusing, I'll show you a video later. And then uh, double back full as well as finishing the salmon ladder, um, which if you've seen American Ninja Warrior is just the one where they have the bar and they just go up like this. Um, so with my progress and documentation, um, first off I'll show you a video from early on in this project at the very beginning. And this was just like random tricks that I would do with friends type of thing. It's just like a simple front flip, right? He's just launching me into the trick. And so this is just like what I would do. And I would go about every week just to work on this stuff. And so throughout the process, I was working on different things, different tricks, so I could get better at the salmon ladder, double full, or double back full, as well as an Arabian. So by the end, in March, I was able to get my Arabian down for the first time. And so here's the video of that. If it will load. So I got my Arabian down in March, and that was a big milestone because it was like, okay, March, I've only got like a couple months left before this project is done, and I was able to get it down. Um, then, so this whole process with the salmon ladder, I was able to get half swings like before this project even started. So I'd like get up half, and then I'd get up the other half, and then half, and then half, and just keep going. But the whole goal is four rungs, and so I've been trying to get that ever since, and I got it in April, so last month, uh, when I went, and I got four runs, complete swings. But, um, you know, I didn't get it on film. So this is just a film of me doing a couple of runs. Um, and then this kind of happens, but. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but. That was just a couple of rungs, but and then I was able to get my back full. Technically, I turned my feet at the very end, but I basically got it. And I had gotten it before without having the camera out, of course, but that was basically my double back full. So I was really proud of myself for accomplishing the three tricks that I wanted to get during this um, process. My ultimate goal has always been to go on American Ninja Warrior when I'm old enough. And so I've been training for 
four years now strictly on American Ninja Warrior and parkour, and so I've been wanting to do that. And it just like relates to my life, and it can relate to all of yours. In life, it's getting through obstacles. And I mean, maybe yours isn't parkour, but there's different things that you can do that you should do so that you can make it through life. Thank you.